These are landowners from the Solwara 1 seabed mining project in the Namatanai district of New Island province. They want to participate and fully benefit from spin-offs that will arise from seabed mining project when operations start. The landowner team is led by PNG Defence Force retired Colonel William Bartley, retired Major Matthew Nelson and Chairman of West Coast Central Seabed Mining Landowner Association, Ben Santomarum. I need 15% equity. How long does it have 30%? Maybe like it's in the zone. 15%. Uh -huh. Ownership to all tenements. Narbla something is that me play strong to ruba, me play maskishim, that's a permanent right. Long does it have deep sea mining. They also want assurance that when operations begin, there will be no environmental damage to the sea, which is their livelihood. They also want another environmental impact study to be conducted and feedback from the international community. Let us do things fast. We want things fast. We like start. Man, not only like start. You miss trading past them all days or something. Eh? Now we play on top of them. Suppose you miss trading, so to stop you. Go. Me too. Me like you miss project. We long place from because place from me. I'm anti develop area. Me send up long ground. Long me long top of them. I must. Me play land on us. You must party inside long to the MOA because suppose. Government been using land mine law na ego lo sulawara. You left house me? Or so many left house me no time using land mine eti what ambulo sulawara. They have captured their eight point petition to be presented to mining minister Byron Chen, whose electorate of Namatanai is where the project is located. Nautilus Minerals New Guinea Limited country manager Mel Togolo, on the contrary, said the company has good relations with the landowners. On the issue of MOAs and MOUs, Mr. Togolo said Nautilus Minerals only signed a memorandum of understanding between the provincial government on how they should cooperate the way forward. It is under those MOUs that we will be working with New Ireland Province of Government and East New Britain Province of Government. It just basically outlines a, a framework of cooperation between us. On the environmental impact assessment, Mr. Togolo said there's still opportunity for the people to bring in their concerns should they feel there are environmental implications. We now got an environmental permit which was given to us in 2009, I think. Um, so, so with that permit, there are certain conditions and, and, and the environmental assessment and the environmental impact statement is only one part of the whole process. He said in any mineral development, there are processes under our laws and urge landowner leaders not to mislead the people. Bridget Komatep, National MTV News.